In this video, we're going to look at what we do to multiply decimals by decimals using the stack method where we stack up numbers right on top of each other. So we'll look at three examples here. Let's start with 1, 2, 3, point one, two, three times 0 0.11. And then we'll look at a tougher example. Let's try 0 0.00179 times 0.03 and then we'll look at 0.799 times 0.612 okay so we're going to use what we've been talking about in the past videos which is a technique to, to recognize that uh, you can solve these as if there is no decimal point find that answer and then count the number of significant digits in this case it's one two three, four, five, in other words, count the digits before the decimal point that actually change the value of the number. The only example of a non-significant digit right now that we're going to look at is if I had a bunch of zeros after the numbers. These don't really affect my answer, right? They don't change the value, they're, they're just adding nothings over and over again. So those don't really matter as opposed to a zero before a digit here. Um, when you take 0 0.03 versus 0 0.003 and so forth, Adding these values does matter because it makes our number smaller and smaller. But adding zeros after our significant digits won't really matter. So, so let me go back and say that again. What we're going to do is count the significant digits, which in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then whatever answer we get from multiplying these out, right, from multiplying them when we're not looking at the decimals, we're going to move the resulting decimal value in the end five places to the left. And uh, I think we'll look at that. I mean, once we see it, I think we'll be much clearer. So um, let's multiply. So we're ignoring the decimals. 1 times 3 and 2 and 1 gives us 1, 2, 3. And then 1 again times those same values at the 0 here gives us 3 and 2 and 1. And now we add these up to get 1, 3, 5, 3. OK. But what do we do? Well, there's five digits here before the decimal point. So here's a decimal right now, but really this number is going to be 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 times smaller. In other words, we're going to divide by 10 five times or move our resulting decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to the left. And there's an extra digit in here, and that's our answer, 0 0.01353. Let's check out the calculator. So we have 0.123 times... 0.11. And I got it right. Nice. Okay, so again, all we're doing really is saying figure this out as if there is no decimal point, and then remember that these numbers are really small. In fact, this number is 100 times smaller than 11, which is what we're pretending it is when we start, and this number is 10, 100, 1,000 times smaller than 123, right? In other words, three decimal places to the left, because every time we move to the left, our number gets 10 times smaller. And, that, and then we're just saying in the end, well, overall, if this is 100 times smaller and that's 1,000 times smaller, the product should be 100,000 times smaller than as if we're just multiplying them. And we did that here. To make the, the number 1353 100,000 times smaller, we move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to the left. Or we divide it by 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. And, and that's my, my reasoning for why this makes sense. So let me clear this space off. And now we're going to look at this example right here. Okay, so now uh, this looks nasty because there's all these zeros here. But I'm going to pretend that this is really just 179 times 3. And then in the end, again, I'm going to count those digits before the decimal point. So how do I do this? Well, take 3 and multiply it by 9. We get 27. Take 3 times 7, get 21, plus 2, 23. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And then 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 0 is 0. There's nothing else to add. Cross out these numbers, we don't need them. And now we move on to 0. Well, 0 times everything gives you a bunch of zeros. So 0, 0, 0, right? We start with one zero, and then there's five others, three, four, five. We don't even need those because it's nothing. 
add them up, we get 537. But that's not our answer. That's the answer to 179 times 3. But 0 0.03 is 100 times smaller. So we have to move this product at least, right? We have to make this product at least 100 times smaller and move our decimal point to the left twice. 1, 2. But that's not it. We're not done yet because 0 0.00179 is a lot smaller than 179. It's 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 times smaller than 179. So we have to move this decimal another five times to the left. And let's just say that we're going to be adding in a lot of zeros here. We can predict how many. Every time I move this, it's one hop. And the first hop's already taken up by five. So there'll be four other hops or four other zeros here. And just to see that I'm right, let's just count nice and slowly. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. So now our answer is 0 0.00000537. And last but not least, look at this combination right here. So I'm actually going to multiply this out as if it's 799 times 612. So to do that, I start with this 2 right here. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Now we go to the next number. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 9 is 9. And 1 times 7 is 7. But of course, I made a mistake here. I'm going to shift this over once to the left. Because, well, this is really 10 and 612. And our first time we multiply 1 by 9, that's really 10 by 9, or 90. So that 9 goes here and a 0 goes there. Okay, now, cross these out. We don't need them. And last, we move to the 6. 6 times 9 is 54, right? But we need two zeros now because it's really 600 times 9, or 540. Put the 4 here, 5 there. 600 times 90, or 6 times 9 is 54, plus 5 is 59. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 5 is 47. So now we have this, and we add these up. We get 8. We add these up. We use pink. 8, 9 and 9 is 18. 9 and 5 is 14, plus 1 is 15, plus 4 is 19. 9 and 7 is 16, 17, 18. 7 and 1 is 8, and 4. So now, what do we do? Well, there are three digits here and three digits here before this one point. So we really multiplied 799 by 612. This product should be, well, a thousand times smaller than 612 and a thousand times smaller than 799. So a thousand thousand times smaller, which is a million times smaller, and we move our decimal point six places to the left. Right? Every move to the left makes our number 10 times smaller. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's our result. 0.488988. And hoping that I'm right, let's just double check. 0 0.799 times 0.6112. 612. And there's our answer, 0 0.488988. And that's us. Alright, hope that helps.